Feels like a lot of people think defensive rookie of the year between Sauce and Tariq Woolen going to be on the field. Will the offensive rookie of the year be on the field Sunday too? Yeah, he's going to be playing for the Jets. That's Garrett Wilson. He needs only four yards receiving to reach 1,000. Welcome to the Two Minute Drill presented by HCL Tech. The Jets travel to Seattle to take on the Seahawks in week 17. And for the Jets EA, two weeks left. The path to the postseason is crystal clear for the Jets. It's like March Madness survive in advance for the Jets to make the playoffs. They have to win this week against Seattle and then win the following week against the Miami Dolphins and just get a little help from the Patriots, either a loss or a tie against the Miami Dolphins at one o'clock Sunday or a loss or tie against the Buffalo Bills in week 18. Seattle is in a pretty similar position. They have to win out both their games against the Jets and the Rams and then get some help with a Washington loss in one of their final two games and a Green Bay loss in one of their final two games. Both these teams started six and three. Both these teams are seven and eight. One of these teams is going to be a live enter in Week 18. And both of these teams, you would imagine, going to have an intense atmosphere in terms of the way the Jets play, the way the Seahawks play. Of course, it will be in Seattle with the 12th man. But this is a fun game, especially when you think about the storylines under center. For the Jets, Mike White back in the lineup. For the Seahawks, former New York Jet Geno Smith having a resurgence in his ninth year in the NFL. Yeah, former second round pick of the Jets. He's completing more than 70% of his passes, actually leads the NFL in completion percentage. The Seahawks have a lot of speed on the offensive side of the ball. Geno said, hey, listen, people wrote me off, but I didn't write back. Mike White back in the lineup for the Jets. He played awfully well in that three game stint, uh, leading the Jets to a victory over the Chicago Bears. Moved the football very well the following week against the Minnesota Vikings, and then obviously took those shots to the ribs against the Buffalo Bills. But what you saw from the Jets when he was behind center, an efficient offense. They stayed ahead of the sticks for the most part on the road in Seattle. You don't want to get in third and long situations. What the Seahawks defensively did well last week against Kansas City, they got off the field on third down. When you're scouting the Seahawks defense, you got to look at Tariq Woolen, the fifth round pick. He's a rookie this year, another Pro Bowl rookie just like Sauce Gardner, and a lot of people familiar with those two guys, but this rookie class for the Jets and the Seahawks, debatably the top two in the NFL. Wallen's really good at taking the football away. Six interceptions this year. I think he has accounted for eight takeaways in all, but Jets fans and a lot of people who follow the National Football League think the Jets have the defensive rookie of the year in Sauce Gardner. He leads the National Football League in past defenses. He's been so good, quarterbacks aren't thrown his way on an occasion. How about the connections? Not just between the comparisons between Gardner and Wallen, but Gardner played collegially at Cincinnati with Kobe Bryant, who is having a fine year. And then think about the Jets and the Seahawks connections. Dwayne Brown, George Fant starting tackles in this game. Of course, previously played with Seattle. Robert Sala, the head coach of the New York Jets 2011-2013, was a defensive quality control coach under Pete Carroll. Sala earned a ring with Seattle. The Jets, in free agency, made an unbelievable addition in DJ Reed, who experienced a career breakthrough with Carroll in the Seahawks the previous two seasons. And everybody's going to be talking, of course, about Geno Smith getting his chance, his opportunity against the team that drafted him. Look, there's a lot of storylines here, but it'll all take place Sunday in Seattle in Week 17.